Hello and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick, and in this video, we're going to talk about pattern matching in C Sharp. I know that a lot of beginner level developers have no clue about pattern matching or have never ever heard it before, so make sure to stick around till the very end of the video so that you know what pattern matching is and how you can apply it. Now, let's get started with the first pattern and we talk about the type pattern which is the most basic type of pattern matching in C-sharp well and it's used to check if a value is of a specific type. Now here's a quick and very important shout out if you are interested in growing your skills as a .NET developer make sure to subscribe to the free C-sharp digest newsletter that provides valuable information about the latest C-sharp related technologies as you can see right here and we are subscribed on our own and the value that we take from it is just awesome. So click on the info card right right now popping up at the top right corner or check the link for the C-Shop Digest newsletter in the description below. Subscribe to it and become a C-Shop developer that is always up to date. And as you can see right here, it's a carefully curated weekly newsletter. So there is zero bullshit, only nice C-Shop value. Great, now let's continue with type pattern matching in C-Sharp. So right here, I got a default, well, console application. I got a main method and I got a new method here, which is called print length and it takes an object as a parameter here. Then we're checking if the object is of type string. And in the else if statement right here, we check on the other side if it's a collection, if it's not a string, right? So what's new here is the is keyword. So that we can check the object, the parameter, right? Is of type string or is of type i collection. Well, an i collection could be an array, a list or whatever, any kind of collection, right? So you get the idea. Great, so here when I call that print length and I send in a string, you can see that, we will see, okay, the string has string length characters because this statement will become true because the object is of type string. And on the other side, when I send in a new list, so a collection, we will see the collection has collection count. So you can see that in the moment where I say the object is of collection and that becomes true, our c -shop compiler will assume or will know that we can use the count property because it's a collection. And for the string, we can use the length property. All right, so let's go, let's hit start. Let's see if we can see everything in the correct way. And you can see the string has 11 characters and the collection has three items. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we would assume. And that's pretty much the type pattern matching. So by using the is keyword, we can now check if an object is of a specific type. Now in c -sharp 11, or since C-Sharp 11, we can now use the OR operator to match against multiple types. So let me just change that code right here. There we go. Now we have a method which again takes an object as a parameter, right? If the object is string, so again, we have the is keyword and then we have the OR keyword. So if the object is of type string or is of type integer, we will get the name. Let's just hit start right here in 32 in string. So those are the types, right? So it has indeed calculated correctly that this is an integer and this is a string. We could for sure also get the value. So let's simply just take object. Let's hit run again. And you can see the assigned values. Awesome. So now you have also seen how you can use the OR keyword for pattern matching against multiple types in this scenario, string and integer, right? Or OR integer. <laughs> Great, now before we continue with property patterns, which are also very important, please notice that we offer a self-paced online course which teaches you full-stack C-sharp web development skills with ASP.NET Core, Angular, unit testing, and even C-sharp software design patterns. We offer a 14-day money-back guarantee, and I'm absolutely sure that this is the best and most affordable way on how you can progress as a C-sharp developer to get hired as a programmer. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. Well, if you have learned something new during this video, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel because we release new c -sharp and .NET related videos. And I think that you want to become a better c -sharp developer. So subscribe to our channel and never miss out a new and amazing video. Great. So now let's get started with property patterns. Let me again just switch the code on screen. Great, so here we got a new method, which takes in a person, which is a record. So a record is just something like a class, but it's immutable. And we got the greet person method, which takes a person and then simply checks in a switch statement, 
if specific properties have a specific value. So this is why it's called property pattern matching, right? So I send a new person called Bob with the age of 30 into that method. And then I check in that case right here for name Bob and age 30. So if that works, if the property pattern matching works here, we should be able to see hello Bob. So let's just hit start. And as expected, you can see hello Bob, right? So this is property pattern matching. And I'm pretty sure that this is something that a lot of developers don't know about. Create a switch statement and check for multiple property values. And again, with C Sharp 11, a new functionality also got added here to check against multiple properties. So let me change the code. Awesome, basically the same method, just another name. And we're checking for object is person, right? So again, we have the is um, type pattern matching here. And then you can see the property matching with name, string name. So we allow any name. And for the age, we check if the value is above or equals to 18 and below or equals to 65. And since we're sending in 30 for Bob, we can see once I hit start that the values are again printed out correctly. Perfect. So this is how you can check for multiple properties right here for the H. Awesome. So this is kind of a combination of what you've learned so far. Awesome. So now you have learned about type pattern matching and property pattern matching in C Sharp. If you liked that video, go ahead and give it a thumb up. Subscribe to our channel to no longer miss any upcoming C Sharp and .NET related videos. And for sure, check out our C Sharp Progress Academy to boost your C Sharp career in basically no time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video.